Hey, what's up guys, Solid Dubbed here, and today I'm doing a video review for the Audiofly AF120 earphones. So first of all, I'd like to thank Mark from KS Distribution for actually sending these out for a trial review. Unfortunately, I have to send these back. Now, these can be bought on Amazon.co.uk for around £165 and on Amazon USA for about $150. Links will be in the description below in case you're interested of purchasing them. Now, I was very much interested in the AF120s after having previously reviewed the AF45s, which are about £40 odd earphones when I reviewed them, and they're very much bassy earphones, which I thought were decent for the price, but nothing to be uh, overwhelmed about. Now, the AF120s obviously come in at a much higher price, and also have an interesting hybrid design of a um, armature driver mixed with a dynamic driver, and I was interested to see how that combination would uh, affect it. Now, before I get into this review, I would like to say that you should check out my written review on my website. Link will be in the description below that goes in much more detail than this video review will do. So let's start off with what you get in the packaging. So first of all, the actual packaging itself is very nice. That's again something I hardly note, but it, you can see it's got this kind of unique uh, touch to it. It kind of doesn't feel like it comes off uh, out of a manufacturing plant of any sort. Looks very nice. Now what you get is actually quite interesting. You've got a quarter inch uh, jack. I'm not quite sure why that's in there. Um, you've got a airplane adapter uh, with some nice um, of embedding and the Audiofly logo. Now this is what I really love, you got some comply foam tips. So as you can see you've got small over here and you've got large over here and I've got regular which is on it as well. These are the T100 foam tips and I really like the fact that these are included. Then you've got um, small, medium and large um, silicone tips and you've got small, medium and large dual flank tips. Uh, again silicone uh, black tips. Alongside you've got a um, cleaning tool which is quite useful um, and you've got a, um, a manual and also the comply instructions. Finally to round it off alongside the earphones you've got an actual carrying case. Now the carrying case itself is very nice as you can see the design of it is very nice uh, and it looks very very sort of almost should I say Australian. It is an Australian brand if I'm not mistaken so it does give that sort of nice sort of touch to it. You can put your ear tips in here if you so wish um, and just put it in and then again this sort of strap around makes it kind of look like a messenger bag which looks very nice. The only thing that I felt that was lacking in terms of the packaging or uh, well, the contents of the packaging was just the fact of having a small um, carrying pouch uh, because this is something that you won't ever fit in your uh, pocket but obviously you put it in your bag or whatever then you'll be fine but you know earphones like this can be easily carried around in a little pouch. Now speaking about the earphones, let's go about the build quality. So straight away you can see the cable. And yes, it does tangle unfortunately. Now the reason is because of the actual sleeving of the cable. The sleeving of the cable is a sort of fabric material. Now previously I've had uh, a lot of trouble with fabric material cable and the model price 8320s or the Fisher Consonants um, uh, earphones and they all have this inherent problem of having this sort of fabric uh, quality which is nice on touch and it looks kind of cool I guess but in terms of the actual um, usability of it it does get tangled pretty easily so do bear that in mind. Now the jack is terminated by a 3.5mm gold plated right angle jack uh, which is decent um, and it's got a decent strain relief which means that you know over time it's not really going to break that much. Now as we move up the cable you can see that the cable changes into a sort of braided looking cable um, which is completely different from the sleeves and has a nice sort of uh, Y-split um, interconnect, shall I say, um, a Y-split cable management um, uh, that yeah, it is very easy to use and just works as you would attend it. Now the earphones themselves, in terms of build quality, is decent. However, one thing I don't really like and yeah, it's something that I kind of alluded to in my comfort section in my uh, review was this actual over-the-ear um, design. Now the over-the-ear design is nothing um, new to me at all. Actually, I've read, wear over-the-ear earphones daily. It's just this design is just a little bit too intrusive. As you can see, you've got some a little bit of memory foam, a memory, shall I say, memory wire over here, which does work as you would kind of intend it to do. However, it does get a little bit uncomfortable uh, for people with smaller ears. Just because of this loop around, it doesn't really get any smaller 
taller. Now, you might think, okay, it's not a massive problem, which it isn't, but as I wear glasses uh, all the time in terms of, you know, because I'm short-sighted, I need to wear glasses or I need to wear contact lenses, but most of the time I wear glasses, it means that it comes a bit of discomfort uh, wearing these because of these massive sort of... Um, uh, sort of wire which goes around. As you can see this wire is very thin, then this is very thick, so it makes a huge difference. In terms of comfort as well, you know, they do fit really snugly and this is good in terms of, you know, if you want to do some sports, they don't really fall out at all. Uh, but in terms of actually um, wearing them for a set, set period of time or if you've got smaller ear, uh, ears, as I said, it might not be as comfortable as um, you might perceive them to be. Now the earphones themselves have got a Audio Fly logo um, just on the outside of the housing and the inner side you've got a massive right and left indicator which to me doesn't look that great especially coupled with the housing itself. The housing is made out of plastic which is normal for most earphones but there's no coating on the material which makes it just look kind of cheap. It doesn't look like a £165 a set of earphones. It just looks like a, I don't know, £20-30 um, piece of earphones that you'd find in your local uh, supermarket type thing. So unfortunately the looks don't really uh, convey with the price. So finally I should mention the isolation. Now the isolation is decent. Uh, it's actually better than the average uh, in-earphone uh, simply because of its design. Um, it, it blocks out uh, enough uh, noise, sort of passive noise cancellation just due to its uh, kind of bigger design and on top of that coupled with the comply foam tips you get even better isolation so therefore it cuts out even more um, uh, background noise which is a plus. Now one thing I should mention about the cable um, just before I move on to the sound quality is just the fact that the cable itself doesn't create any microphonics which is a surprise because most of the time with cables which are sleeved like this um, you've got a lot of microphonics even if you wear them over the ear. In this case, you wear them over the ear because you have to wear them over the ear, but this is a good thing because you don't actually hear any sort of cable noise at all. I was very surprised to hear no cable noise even whilst wearing them over the ear, and uh, very, very happy to have you know a perfect 10 out of 10 score for microphonics. Now the sound quality is obviously the most important part. Sound quality for me was actually very disappointing. It's not something I was expecting uh, to be amazing or so something's going to blow me out the uh, out the out the water, but it's just something I was expecting a little bit better in terms of a 165 pound earphone. The reason I say this is just because of the fact of they come in at a huge competition. Now the audio in terms of the lows I felt kind of lacked. Now the sub bass was there but it didn't really uh, prolong and extend that well. The sub bass felt a little bit cut off after a while and the mid bass just felt a little bit uncontrolled. The mid bass was there, had a nice sort of slam to it but it didn't really have any much control. For an earphone that has a balanced armature driver inside I would have expected a bit more control in the mid bass section. Moving on to the mids, now the mids you'd expect again to have a really good sort of uh, precise sound due to that balanced armature driver. Unfortunately due to the fact that you've got a reasonably loud mid bass, although you know, it doesn't really affect the mids in this respect, but the mids felt really recessed. They felt recessed, they felt pushed back, and they just didn't feel like they were bringing out any sort of uh, proper sound. In comparison to some other earphones like the Dunu Titan 1s or the Steel Series Flux Pros, these actually suffered in the mids uh, section, which I would have expected them to at least do the mids decently, but unfortunately this was not the case. The highs on top of that were just not great. They were a disappointment as well, they were rolled off, and they just didn't provide any sort of sparkle. Sometimes as well, at higher um, volumes, the highs just felt a bit too ear piercing. So overall the sound presentation wasn't good and I felt the sort of crossover of the two drivers wasn't really well done. It's meant that they had a dull sound which is something to be expected in sort of flat sounding earphones which this is supposed to be but unfortunately flat sounding earphones doesn't mean that it has to be incapable of doing mids and highs and lows. Unfortunately this felt that it just wasn't doing a great job. To round it off the sound stage didn't feel that great, the depth was Around there, but the music separation was pretty poor and the decay just almost non-existent and that's probably just due to the plastic shell. So overall, my experience of the earphones wasn't that great. I like the packaging, I like what's included, 
but I don't like its price and I especially don't like its sound quality. I can't really see myself recommending them considering there's so much out there in the market that provides better. Alright guys, I've been totally dubbed. Hopefully you enjoyed this honest review. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and favourite and share if you like it. Alright guys, totally dubbed out. Bye bye.